Everyone knows West Point as America's famous military academy. But years earlier, a self-taught bookworm general quietly built a prototype version in a New Jersey field. By 1778, Henry Knox wasn't just the guy who knew cannons. He was Washington's chief of artillery. After years of improvising, he wanted something the young army had never had before, a system. Knox set up a winter camp in Bedminster, complete with classrooms, barracks, and training grounds. Over a thousand soldiers learned gunnery, math, engineering, and logistics from a guy who once ran a Boston bookstore and read military science for fun. Modern historians call Pluckerman America's first organized military training academy and a clear forerunner to the United States Military Academy at West Point. The proof that it worked? In 1781, Knox took this trained artillery machine south to Yorktown. Working with French gunners, he choreographed the bombardment and pounded Cornwallis' lines into submission and effectively ended the war. This hefty ex-bookseller didn't just haul cannon. He also built the brainy artillery school that helped win Yorktown and pointed straight toward West Point. If you enjoyed this telling of a lesser-known historical truth, like and subscribe. And check out our channel for more historical events like this. Thanks for watching.